so here we are man um 2021 right yeah uh what else what are we looking forward to this year what are we looking forward to i guess in some respects we're looking forward to the end of this lockdown right that's what we're looking forward to i guess we've got that kind of coming up on the horizon there's you know some conflicting reports as to when we're going to get back to some level of normality i'm still on the fence as to this whole like idea we're going to save our summer this year my my prediction from the very beginning has always been whatever you did in 2019 you're probably going to be able to start doing in 2022 that's always been my assumption again don't kill them don't shoot the messenger don't get angry at me don't leave me hate comments but i've never really fought this whole idea behind and that's going out again in the summer and getting back to normal that's not going to happen now of course the vaccine is going to help things uh speed things up a little bit uh but i'm still not sold on the government's ability especially in the uk to um to somehow be able to do that at, at a level that would get us to enjoy our life in the summer i just don't see it happening i just don't see somebody that's been able to you know i don't see a government that's been handling this whole pandemic so disastrously from the beginning to the end or from the beginning until now to somehow figure it all out with the vaccines in hand and work out a solution or an option or strategy that would enable us to get back to normality by the summer because summer is not long right it's not it's not long away i know it, it kind of feels like it but for the most part the year goes by pretty quick it's not going to go by quickly because you're going to be at home especially if you're furloughed you've got nothing to do but summer's going to come around pretty quickly right it's going to be you know by, by by the time you blink and wake up it's going to be the end of february then it's going to be heading into march april so do you really think you're going to be able to go to lanzarote by june july i don't know man if i was you i'd probably start thinking about you know traveling inland and you know booking a little airbnb somewhere to come you know to kind of have a bit of a break from your regular schedule of programming but the idea that you're going to be able to go um to barcelona for a festival or something i'm gonna say 2022 now the only thing that i can argue with myself about is that obviously i've mentioned before in a previous podcast at barcelona i think Premier actually they ran a little um test right they did a little test run where they kind of allowed people to attend the festival um get a rapid test prior and then obviously they got results a couple of hours later and if you were negative you're allowed to come in if positive of course you have to kind of run your ass back home so i could see a i could see maybe I can see maybe some EU nations, you know, especially with the dwindling tourism's um, tourism industry uh, throughout the entire summer, deciding maybe to take this approach in order to kind of allow some money to come into the economy from tourists during the summer. But there's still the obvious, the there's still the obvious hurdle of you know people actually having the appetite to go out and do such a thing in the first place right go and stand shoulder to shoulder with strangers and all that malarkey but who knows maybe it might change but again like i said my prediction has always been from the very beginning um 2022 is probably going to be the earliest you're going to be able to do exactly what you did in 2019 but i'd love to know your predictions let me know your prediction down below when do you think we're going to get back to some level of normality this probably appeals more applies more to the uk people watching the podcast as opposed to probably yeah maybe uk and us if you live in the uk and us let me know what's your earliest prediction as to when you're going to get back to normality i know parts of the us are you know they don't really care about covid and they're sort of like pretending it doesn't exist right texas florida miami um well it's not michigan but there's a few other places where they're just kind of carrying on as normal but what do you think in terms of your overall neighbors your Amer your fellow american citizens your fellow uk citizens when do you think you're going to get back to normal i'm saying early 2022 so of course you know same time next year we're probably going to get back to normal but let me know your thoughts down below